today. <clears throat> Immature dot here, your friendly neighborhood sad negro. Uh, <laughs> With a, uh, d d d fuck, you know what, you're a piece of shit left, go ahead, and say, say, say your pay, I hate uh, you. Um... I'm Renny Murdoch, and I am gonna be t talking with Immature God about this one topic. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about the Unite the Right. I dropped my water. Fuck. Keep that in. <laughs> I oh. Unite the Right. Um, so, uh, I think we should explain what Unite the Right is, considering most of our viewers are a bunch of retards, and uh, we should talk no. about it. Cause, no, this uh, is on... we, we need... no, 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 <laughs> this is going up on my channel, you don't understand. You can't say most of our viewers are retards, most of your viewers are retards from a community that were, that were mostly uh, small children. So, my viewers are a bunch of alt-right shills. <clears throat> so, they're basically gonna fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, no, you can't criticize the right. Oh, we didn't do nothing wrong. Y'all shill speak. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Unite the Right rally was an event that had taken place where white nationalists and uh, the good guys were like, you know what? If the blacks can have their pride, and the spicks can have their pride, and the others can have their pride, and so on and so forth, then why can't the whites? Because well, you're all Nazis. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, dude, like, I'm not trying to sound like a shill or anything. Oh, shill, Jew, kike, cuck, XD. But, um, the majority of people who are white nationalists and uh people who tend to have white pride also tend to be nazis and those people are portrayed as the majority in uh are people who are being portrayed as the majority of white of uh people who attended the white pride event in all white pride events, you can find a couple of skinheads and shit. So they do make a somewhat, a somewhat valid point when you when you uh, look at it from their perspective. But uh, a counter argument to that to that wonderful point is well, with black pride, they have extremists like the fucking Black Panthers and the the We Was Kangs crowd. And the only reason that their pride exists is because they wanted reparations for slavery. And that's a problem. I mean, uh, s slavery didn't simply start um, with that. I mean, Africa was all open hand when uh, when slavery was a thing. They were like, "Hey, yeah, Lamal, mm -hmm. you could take our slaves." XD. The scramble for Africa, I believe it was called, when all these big superpowers they went into Africa and they took slaves, which is going to be a major part of an upcoming video entitled. Uh, a southern civil war victory which I have been making for seven months now and the only reason I haven't uploaded it is because I'm a lazy cunt anyways nice little plug there for me <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to discussing the unite the right rally now that you know the, uh, and the, under oh sorry what well, sorry go on all right now that you know and understand what the unite the right rally was what both narratives were now we can actually go into discussing what exactly happened Counter protesters showed up to the movement, and riots started. Which actually, before it started out somewhat civil, and then fights occurred. Little small little fights in little areas uh, broke out. Then some <laughs> some dude got in a car and he started running over counter protesters. Now this this is where we draw a line. This is where we all should be drawing a line. People from the left and right should be sitting down and criticizing this person because this is exactly this is exactly what happened at the Berkeley riots with the bike lock attacker. We all remember who that is. The Eric Clapton, whoever the fuck he is. He he put a little bike lock in his sock and he beat and he bashed it over the skull of, of um a, a writer. And he was a a, a leftist so basically, the UC Berkeley riots mirror the ex the events that happened in in the um, Unite the Right rally. Right. 
And at the end of the day, we shouldn't be focusing on, oh, uh, he said that, then he said that, and and, and we, we're going to have to fight it out, we're going to have to tussle it out, buddy old pals, because violence is is Negro shit. Violence is not worthy of either cause, whether you're a, a leftist or a rightist, an alt-writer, a libertarian, or aggressive you should never fucking resort to violence because that's what separates us from from being jungle people, essentially. Af- Afri- African Americans, exactly. To be specific, they uh, their answer to everything is just fights. But uh, back to the uh, entire rally, I feel uh, I feel we should discuss more about the motive and why it's uh, it's kind of valid. I mean, for example, as we discussed earlier with the. Uh, the Black Pride Month, the entire thing was about, uh, hey, we used to be slaves, therefore uh, we should have a day where we uh, celebrate the fact that slavery is not there anymore. Which is fucking ironic as all hell considering blacks enslaved blacks long before the globalization of slavery. Uh, the... and, I, and basically everybody had enslaved everybody by that point, and... They had no memes to stand on anymore. I need to make it into a shirt. You know what? Let's talk about the similarities between the UC Berkeley riots and the... No, not the riots, but the UC Berkeley event and the Unite the Right event. All right. All because right. they're eerily similar. Go, go ahead, uh... People show up at the Unite the Right rally because they feel misrepresented. People show up at the UC Berkeley thing because they want to protest something. County protesters show up. On, uh, on both parties, and then little uh, bits of, of, of rioting occurs because of political, of fucking political disagreements. Like, no, in one case, we have a, count- a, a protester attacking a counter-protester in the case of the bike lock incident, and... The other scenario is the really alt-right asshole getting into his fucking car and just mowing down the innocent counter-protesters. Okay, I, they, they may not be innocent. Not not enough information has come out. Actually, if you... No, no, no. Yeah, there, there were some live streams of some scuffles there, but who knows? I, I, it was still wrong, nonetheless, <laughs> is the point I'm trying to make here. And, you see, and the UC Berkeley thing and... The Unite the Right ra- uh, rally is are just really similar. Yeah, there we go. Made that point. Hell yeah, Nibba. Narratives for the Unite the Right rally was white preservation, which is a a hot button issue for the past uh, twenty to thirty years. Because if you go as far back as the sixties to the current year. There's always been this fear in the whites, well, in in, in some Americans, that the white race is being, uh, you know, uh, the white race is in is in fear of being uh, 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 eradicated. Yeah, eradicated, because in their eyes, multiculturalism is disgusting, and it is disgusting. <laughs> the, the, the white people have no culture. <laughs> Europe, uh, 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 Napoleon, narratives for the for the right, white preservation, narratives for the left, y'all are a bunch of racists, alright, so, I feel like that covers basically the gist of it, if you want to learn more, don't come to this channel, google it, do your own research, you fucking sheeple, wake up America, uh, the earth is flat, actually no, it's, the earth isn't flat, it's fat. It's a little, like, at the top, and it's, like, fat in the middle. It's like a bun. It's like, imagine a turtle, a giant turtle with the earth, with, like, a bit of the earth just cut in half on its uh, back. It, the earth is flat. Some popular people, celebrities, they're snakes. Hell yeah. End of the video. <laughs> uh, more content by me is coming soon. Bye bye Stuttering. Man. <laughs>